Welcome, Welcome to, to the, the Geek, Geek Space, Space Channel. Channel. What's up, geeks? <laughs> <laughs> All right. That didn't go as planned, but that's okay. Welcome to the Geek Space Channel, everybody. I'm the Linux Geek, as you know. Um, today, we're going to look at an uh, operating system called Prim Tux. And it's a pretty cool distribution. It's made by a group of teachers, um, computer enthusiasts, and educational communities. Picked English doing an installation, so all this stuff's in English, which is great. Um, <clears throat> so let's take a look through here. I'm not sure what any of this stuff here says, but like I said, I don't speak French at all. But we're just going to take a look at the system the way that it is. All right, so here's our little menu. You see under all. I don't know what any of this stuff means. And let's just go through this menu. I have no idea what any of this stuff says. I see calculator. That makes sense. We'll click on that one. The only thing I so far could read was calculator. Discs, that's, that makes sense. We know what that does. Uh, let's see, image viewer, that makes sense. But anyways, the focus of this is on education, so I'm sure they have some cool stuff in here. Now, I don't know what all this means, but I'll just let you guys look through all the different apps they have here. And these should all be education apps. And so we have the file explorer. That's pretty decent, pretty standard. It's got one click on by default, which gets on my nerves personally, but I know some people like that. So we're going to X off there. What's this do? Handy menu. Okay, so I'm guessing this is some kind of note taking app. No idea what this says again. But obviously this means accept. And is it a dictionary? Uh, my keyboard's not set up right, so let's go change that real quick. And we're gonna go to I guess Dell Latitude Laptop. Apply that. T U X P R O F. Can here and see if we can type something. So, I have no idea what this is doing. I mean, I thought maybe it was a, a dictionary. Like, because it kind of looks like it says dictionary. But, I do not know what any of this stuff means. So, we're going to try to exit this. Alright, we have Firefox. That should, be, uh, <laughs> that should be something normal, something that I know how to use. So, let's see. Um... No need to mess with that right now. What in the world? Uh, I never even heard of this. I wonder if I can search myself on it. Try it this way. <laughs> yep, okay, you can find me on here. Cool. So this just goes over, uh, you know, some basic stuff. And we have the last video that I did in there. So, anyways, that's all normal. Everything looks cool here. Um, let's see what else we have. What's this? Uh, some kind of search. Okay, so you can like search for apps and stuff there, so like, cool. It's like a little launcher, and what's this do? Preferences, okay. Uh, again, I don't know French, so I can't read any of that. But, hopefully that made sense to somebody. Bit of education. And let's see what this is. Um, it must be something for like a French school or something, maybe. I don't know. Uh, let's try anonymous. Whoa. Okay. Um, not sure what you're doing here. Yeah, lost again. But it looks like they did a lot of work on this stuff. I mean, it looks like there's some really cool stuff. I'm not sure how valuable it is in the U.S., but. I'm sure some of it is, or somebody that's learning French, this would be pretty cool to use in the U.S. Like, because you got kind of a mix of English and French here, so. Um, but anyways, uh, let's see if we can get to, like, a terminal here. So there's the root terminal, which is always ugly. And let's go here. 
Okay, pretty basic, but again, this system is not made to like impress with graphics or anything like that. It's just developed so people with lower end system can still use their computer. So thanks for watching this quick review. Thanks for stopping by the Geekspace channel. See you next time.